Hey guys, how's it going today? Welcome to Garrock Farms. On today's agenda, we got to pressure wash the skid steer, get it all cleaned up, and then uh, we're putting a new set of tires on it. It's been uh, well due for a new set. This morning we uh, just got done using it. Uh, we cleaned up the barnyard after milking and uh, got everything all prepped up. But we're going to clean all that fresh manure off before we start working on those tires. So. Oh, and before I forget, I uh, wanted to ask you guys to leave a comment down below what kind of skid steer you guys prefer. I know in our area, there's a lot of bobcats. That's a pretty common one around here because we have a dealer nearby. But I've heard a lot of good things about like Cat and uh, Gale and JCBs. Um, Kubotas are getting pretty popular for their price. So uh, leave a comment down below what kind of skid steers you guys like. Also, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe and if you like the video hit the thumbs up button it means a lot I'd say that's good enough for what we got going on today. Mainly just wanted to get all the manure off of it so we didn't have to get covered in that as we're working. But yeah, we're gonna go bring that down to the shop and get started on those tires. The day uh, fixing tires. Dad's got the Oliver in here putting a, a patch patch on an inner tube. We're putting a, we put a patch on a patch and now we had to put another patch on that patch. I don't know if I got it in the right spot. It must have slid on me because it's right the bell stem is on the opposite side there. Oh well. I guess if it don't work I gotta look. I maybe got another tube. Well then here's a patch too. These narrow fronts especially, I think the tires are so thin that it doesn't seem to take much. Sometimes I wonder just from all the flexing and bouncing around, sometimes a little stone or something gets in there and it don't make a hole right away, but over time, like six months to a year of just bouncing and flexing around, eventually it's got a slow leak. The thing is with a narrow front, you can still limp it home just fine on one. You don't want to drive around some side hills like that. I think you probably put another dozen patches on there, yeah. Well, I, I think the, the patch is $2 or 3 or whatever. That's the thing. And it's easy to fix. You still got to tear it apart. But yeah. Yeah, if it works, it works, I guess. <laughs> I can feel the air coming out. There's the hole. I don't know, I missed that. It must have slid a little bit. I put that weight on top of it and it must have slid over by itself. Yeah, we're gonna start over. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I get a new tube. I might have one. Sometimes I keep them on hand like this. And look at here on the shelf, I found a 550, 600. I guess we are gonna retire the old tube. Actually, what I'll probably do is patch it anyway, fold it up, put it back in the box. That's what my dad would have did. Because we're gonna be in the middle of haying or something. Be a nice backup, I guess. This reminds me of an old trend on the internet. Is there more wheels or is there more doors? What's there more of? If there are more wheels or more doors. Yeah. I would bet wheels. You think so? What about your house with all them cabinets and stuff? Oh, well, if we're getting into cabinets, then I maybe not. But just doors to the home or something. Uh, you know? But then, like, little bearings on certain things, you know? Like, are those technically wheels, too? You know? Like, you can get pretty in-depth. I imagine if you have trouble sleeping at night, you should think that through. The people got to know, what is this? More wheels or well, more Well, that's what I mean. <laughs> if you have trouble sleeping at night, that's when you get your pen and paper out and really 
start calculating. Let us know what you think, more wheels or more doors? I just figure everybody's got a, at least two or three different vehicles, whether it's their lawnmower or whatever, and they probably only own one house, so they probably got more, more wheels. Than more wheel. you think more so? wheels than doors, because there's usually four on everything. Heck, we could get down to the bicycles and all that, like you said. That sounds like a conversation for a bar somewhere where everybody that was a big That was a big trend on the internet. I think it still kind of is. Everybody, I think. everybody needs to know. I think we're, tomorrow. I just hope we get this wheel right on this property. I would have to say we're probably going to be up on wheels with all the farm equipment. I suppose open stations you don't have doors. Like our cab tractors, you got three doors on them. No, the back's a window. Well, is it though? It's on a hinge. Is it, is it a window or is it a door? The window. <laughs> I think we need to get the dictionary out and find out what, what? definition of a door really is. Maybe, like you said, the hinge was defined. 35 or so. Yeah, we're gonna get this on, get this out of the way. Well, I think what we can do, we could probably start looking at all the equipment we got and add up all our wheels. Well, yeah, but I'm talking in the whole the whole world. That's what well, we have to start somewhere. You know, we have to make like a threshold to say, okay, wheels like. But then like on the baler, you, you obviously got more wheels, but then you have to count like, like your the... shields. Do you count your, are those doors too, you know? Well, okay, we're gonna have to get down to, you know, like a little basics, like. See, because we could even go steel wheels that are in our fence over here. This could, this, this could, go, this could be nuts. I think we just go with all the rubber wheels, the ones that roll, that, you know, whether it's the wheelbarrows or the bobcat or all our wagon stuff. So then the Amish wouldn't have any wheels then? Then they well, just have, they, then they just have doors. So that's more doors then, <laughs> than wheels. <laughs> no, because it's carrying their equipment around, we just call them wheels. So you'll count a steel wheel as a wheel yet? But yeah, but these wheels up. ain't... D d it has to be able to roll to be a wheel? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, if it's, it can't roll anymore, we can't count it. Because we could go to the junkyard and really get crazy. How many doors are there? Or like on the barn, you know? Well, if they're... If they're they, so if they're actually doors that actually can open and shut, we can call them a door. That yeah. you can actually physically walk something through it. Or like... Like storage units, that probably adds up really quick. There's a lot of doors there. Well. And then every car, you got normally four doors and four, four, or, four or five wheels. Well, yeah, you want to count the spare. So it'll be never ending, I think. I think it's pretty, it's neck and neck, I think. <laughs> I think we got more wheels. My Bobcat doesn't have a door on it. Okay, the back door for the motor. Yeah, but the door still exists. It's, what? it's on the shelf. <laughs> it seems like we just put these on maybe a little over a year ago. I don't know, these seem to wear down pretty quick. So we built a new shed because we had all that new, fresh, dry, coarse con you know, that's real, that wasn't shined up from the cattle or nothing yet. We then were skidding around there putting up rafters and everything, we wore them tires on pretty quick. Yeah, concrete wears out tires. Yeah, dry concrete in the trench because of the asses of the silage. You know, so the first years we were here, we didn't have nearly as much concrete. It seems like the tires are like it. I got five, six years out of them. Yeah, I think any any animal operation, their skid steer or their loader tractor, they're replacing tires all the time. 
Now the sales guy that sold me these, these are like $325 a piece, which they look like a very aggressive tire. But he said they'll last four times as long as the cheaper ones. But then he showed me the cheaper one, and then I thought, well, I would believe twice as long. I don't know about four times. If you ain't got much on concrete, like if you're just snow removal or, or dirt work all the time, these things could last for 10 years. Yeah, I know if this was in like a warehouse or something, you wouldn't want tires with lugs like that. You'd probably want those. Almost look, they almost look like turf tires, or yeah, they got some different stuff. Well, that guy where we bought the hay, he had a he had different tires on there. I guess they I didn't even notice. On, 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 and then they just got that chaff on the floor, which almost makes it like a dance floor where it's a little bit of a it'll slide on that. I yeah. think that makes good sense, and I think it slides instead of kind of jumps and almost waddles when it's too dry. Definitely make you earn it. Yeah, they're pretty stiff tires. Just three more to do now. <laughs> they're just so stiff, just as simple as that. But you want a good tire, so you're gonna fight it. Yeah. It reminds me of them fronts on the on the 74. So we're on the last one, and now that we kind of know what we're doing, we'll uh, we'll film this one too, just cause we got the technique down. These are very thick, stiff tires, so I think it makes a world of difference compared to them other ones. What you do, how you put them on, you get it figured out. Just like everything, you know, if we did this every day, we'd have this down to a science. You can't step on it; it's so stiff, it does not. We're not big enough for that, so we use the jack. squash that down so that rim so what you want that you want this tire to go inside there and that rim to go so really what's happening now is when he's prying we're pushing the rim and we try to keep our stem down in there out of the way so it doesn't interfere and Yeah, and like that Oliver front, that that's just a 
like a marshmallow compared to this thing. We could practically squeeze it on with a couple screwdrivers. So now what we're going to do, we got to center the tire in a, in a rim into the tire before we start putting air in it. So, I'm going to spin the tire. Most tires you can do it by hand, but this was so sick you can't. You use the jack to kind of maneuver it. So we're going to push down just a little bit here until we get some air and then we just let our jack go. So we got things kind of centered up. The idea is simple, it's just it seems like you fight and it takes a lot of kind of beat your body up to try to get, get them on. But I know some of them guys will take them in even to some car garage will put these on. I, mean, I don't know what they charge, but maybe isn't very much, but we know we can get it done, so we just do it. So that's going to be it for that project. We appreciate you sticking around to the end. Make sure to leave your comments down below on your opinion on those different uh, topics. Uh, we're for sure reading every comment. I want you guys to know that even if we don't respond to them. We can't respond to all of them. There's not enough time in the day. Also wanted to remind you guys if you aren't already make sure to subscribe and also check out our other videos if you haven't seen them. But that's going to be it. So I hope you guys have a great day.